I, Jay, here again with my Reading Rush Day 3 vlog, and uh, I'm here to say I changed my TBR yet again, but okay, like, hear me out, hear me out, okay, so, as I was pacing in circles around my room and my grandma's room, because all of my books are also in my grandma's room, because I have seven shelves. Yes, I know it's excessive, but I'm sorry, I have seven shelves, okay? So, I was pacing and I was going through my shelves and I found all of my House of Night books. House of Night, if you guys don't know, is about this, like, 17 year old 16 year old I don't remember named Zoe Redbird who is like this regular teenager and then she gets marked by the goddess Nyx to become a vampire and it's like this 12 book series about this Zoe Redbird character she's a mess let's just say that but these were the books that got me into reading so I was like you know what we should do in this day and age of quarantine we should read the House of Night books because I read the first seven books, it never went on to the eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I spent the entire night last night doing some research on like recaps about what happened in the series so that I could read the eighth book, Awakened. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but it's by PC Cast and Kirsten Cast. And these books are honestly just straight up trash. Like they are not good, but I have such fond memories of them that I want to read them. And I was going through the books and there's like a little thing in my book that is from my grandma and like that just made it like 100% more special to me and now I'm like I gotta read them because that's what grandma wanted. We started Awakened, we're 150 pages in and honestly straight trash but so bad that it's good. You know those series? This is one of them. Like, I know it's not a good book. I know it's not a good series. I know it's very problematic, the things that they're saying. But, like, this book was from 2011? 2010? Like, this book was from a long time ago. So, problematic? Yes. Great? Yes. Really bad? Yes, at the same time. But I'm, like, living my best 12-year-old JN life. So, so that's what I have been doing. Am I going a little stir-crazy? Yes, I am, but I'm gonna continue on with this and then I'm gonna read Destined, Hunted, and Revealed. I don't own Redeemed, which is the 12th book, but honestly contemplating getting it because I need to finish this series. It's a good time. Let me know down below if any of you guys have read these books and like what you thought of them because I know that like if I read them today, like from the beginning, the writing style is not good, but like I can't help but love them because it's like my childhood, you know? Okay, so... <laughs> I'm on page 172 of Awakened. I'm gonna just read you one of these lines because it is oh, bad. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get my eyes checked. I can't see crap until it's right in front of me, Stevie Ray said. It's not you, Aphrodite said in a deadpan voice. It's Cremesha. She's black. Shadows are black. Hence the reason we didn't see her. Oh no. Oh baby, no. That's like d tame for a lot of the problematic things in this book. And then Aphrodite, who I would like to say is basically Barbie, goes on to say that she is a minority and that people can't be mad at her for saying things about Cremesha like that because she is a minority. <clears throat> So this book just keeps getting like wilder and wilder. So right now they're at a funeral for one of the fledgings and a high priestess, ex-high priestess, I don't know, she's like evil. She's just like taken off her clothes at the funeral. Like this lady is literally like old as shit. Like she's a teacher, she's a principal and she's just taken off her clothes in front of a bunch of 16, 17 year olds because why not, you know? like seems like the logical thing to do and i'm just confused about what's happening but honestly like these books are like candy like i can't stop reading i just need to know what trash fire is gonna happen next like i'm addicted and like honestly it's gonna end up being like a five out of five stars just because i don't know what's happening and my brain cannot process the wildness of this series so it's now like 1 30 i finished 
The Awakened. I'm giving it five out of five stars. I'm sorry. Like I know that this series is trash. I know that it's not like good. I know that the books are terrible, but like nostalgia factor, entertainment factor, like it's a five out of five star series. Like so bad that it's good, you know? So now I have to decide whether or not I want to move on to book nine, which is Destined, which I have over there, or if I want to actually try to complete all the challenges that I was supposed to for this whole readathon because I did the house on the cover, which was Wind Witch. I did the book to make you happy, which was this one. And then I read The Wife Between Us, which was Stay in One Spot. The other one I'm supposed to do is read a book about a place where you want to travel to or like where you want to go. And technically, anywhere but here could be destined, even though that whole place is a shithole, like would not want to go to that world. But uh, I don't know, what, what do you think I should do? What's wrong with anything but here? It's been, what, six, seven months now? I'm just done with it. Should Opinion. I take it personally? Yes. Opinion. <laughs> Opinion. Oh. Should I continue Recycle on with... Recycle them all? No. Should put, I... Put them all in I'm the giving bed? them a five out of five, I can't man. It is that. Oh, so bad that it's good. Okay, but should I continue with the series, the trash fire that it is for the entertainment factor, or should I try to complete the challenges that I'm supposed to complete? Okay. Will it make you happy? Yes, then they're so bad. Then there's your answer. You're such a good mom. Anything to make you happy. How are you doing? <sighs> Great. Yeah. Gonna go do the laundry. Good. I'm gonna get food and uh, we have start here. on Destin. Wait, let me hold it up for you. Oh. Destin. Where did you get all these from? Grandma. This one's from Grandma. No. Yeah, look. No. Merry Christmas Jam Love Grandma 2010. I've had this book for 10 years. It took me 10 years to read this. I didn't know she did that. But you see how special, now I can never get rid of them because you can't get rid Grandma. Of that one. I don't know if this one was from, no, did this she give you like a, a whole set? Or no, I think she one? just gave me one. See, Grandma used to give everybody books all the time because she was a teacher. We love Grandma. And an avid reader. Great lady. Still an avid reader. Um, she still reads. She still reads. Might be the same book Does she over know and how over. To read? No, no, no. She can still read, but I, I think that it, she has about six bookmarks in the same books. My grandma has dementia. If you didn't know, she's got Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. I guess mm -hmm. nobody would know that. I've never told you guys, but she. No, she's in a nursing home. Yeah. So. So. She doesn't remember who I am. Have not seen her in six years. She thinks I'm Marianne. Which is normal for Alzheimer's people. So yeah. So every Christmas and birthday, she would give you a book or something. She would always ask us what books you were reading or what you wanted or whatever. So that's why you got that one. But now that just means I can never get rid of this whole series because you can't have the eighth book of a series. You could. No, you can't. You, you so can. that means that's my justification for why I need to keep the series. Also, five out of five and stars means it doesn't have to go to the thrift store. And it makes you happy. They're so bad that they're good. I'm not going to read them. <laughs> so bad. I, I quite often will grab <laughs> one or two or ten of her books and read them. So um, bad. But I will not. No. I think Just, you should. It's no. a good time. There's um, a lot so of sexy times. That's why you like it. No, but like it's not good sexy times. Like it's literally just like all of a sudden they're like having blowjobs everywhere and you're just but you like, read this what is 12. happening? Yeah, I read it when I was 12 and thought that it was like a-okay. So amazing. stupid. Yet you keep going. It's like, it's like one of those train wrecks where you're like, I need to keep reading to see what's going to happen next. What teenage girl hasn't read this set? I don't know. And why the thrift store is the whole set there 15 times They're over. never there. I haven't seen past book four at the thrift store because nobody bought the rest of the series. Yeah, that's because <laughs> nobody went past there. You're the only owner of... I don't have book 12, though. I need book 12. Do not go I'm going to buy it. Do not go we go buy it. it. Okay, so the last book I had the whole thing about the one black girl. And now this book, the the ninth one, Destined, has a whole chapter about the short bus and how only the R word can ride the short bus. It just gets worse and worse, but I just can't stop. I just can't stop devouring this. Ready for another terrible line? This one isn't like problematic, it's just like corny, but Stark, who Zoe is like in love with right now, I say right now because she's in love with like 20 different guys. But he was talking to her and she was jealous because a bunch of girls were like telling him that he was awesome sauce. And he was like, oh, you're jealous? And she was like, no. And he was like, well, don't worry. You don't have to be. You're not just covered in awesome sauce. You're what awesome sauce is made of. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, to be back in 2011 when this book was released. I don't want to be there. So I guess this uh, can't be for the somewhere I want to be challenge. Kiss now.
day four final day of the reading rush and it's really gross outside so i'm kind of just in a bleh mood like it is just pouring down rain which is actually helping my lighting situation when you're on my bookcase it's just gross outside anyways y'all don't care about the weather i am pretty much done destined ninth book in house of night series and it is significantly worse then the eighth book awakened was like i gave awakened five out of five stars because it was really entertaining and just like nostalgia like the eighth book like i said was entertaining this one is like entertaining but it's not as entertaining as the eighth book because the eighth book was just so dumb that like you had to keep reading to figure out what was gonna happen next this one kind of just feels like a filler book i've decided i'm renaming it from destined to bull boy because it basically just follows this boy this guy his name is Aurochs and he turns into a bull every time Neferet, the like high priestess, tells him to turn into a bull and get angry and basically destroy everything and everybody. So like, bull boy, that's what this is called. But I'm on page like 279 of like 325 or something like that. So like it's gonna get done today and then I have to decide whether or not I'm gonna continue with hidden which is the 10th book or if i'm gonna switch and try to actually finish the challenges like we've already discussed i just i don't know if i want entertainment or if i want to be successful in the readathon you know like dilemmas dilemmas i mean technically i should probably do some homework because i have barely touched it i only have four more weeks of year one of teachers college but i just have like no motivation to do it everything's online like everybody knows that but i just don't care anymore like i just i'm done with it i don't care so it's very difficult to find the motivation to actually do your homework you know but there's only four weeks left so like might as well push through but i'd rather not you know but yeah that's the goal for today it's 11 a.m right now so i'm gonna go read this hopefully i'll finish it by 12 and then decide what i'm doing after it is now 12 20 i finished destined and i'm giving it a 3.5 because honestly it just was not up to par with awakened like entertaining but not as entertaining like it just felt like a filler book to me and i just don't care but anyways we're moving on to hidden this is the 10th book in the house of night series i'm not gonna start it right now because i've decided that i need to catch up on my reviews because i've read 23 books this month and i am actually like seven reviews behind on goodreads so i figured i should catch up because soon i'm gonna have to film my wrap up for this month which 23 books is a lot of books to film in one wrap up and if you guys are familiar with my channel i usually break them up into to like parts usually i'll have like three part wrap-ups that's usually as high as i go but i've never read this many books so i feel like i might have to have like a four part wrap-up it is also only the 19th and if i continue reading the way that i've been reading we're maybe gonna have like a five part wrap up but we don't know so i figured i should probably catch up on the reviews so that's what we're gonna do and then my parents are also watching the phantom of the opera right now and the masquerade scene is coming up soon and that's my favorite scene of the whole play so i need to go watch that as well so that's what i'm gonna go do now i am back so <laughs> You know how I said I was gonna write seven reviews? Um, I wrote two and then got bored and stopped. But while I was writing my reviews, I had the epiphany that I am renaming the House of Night series the House of Trash series because they are honestly trash, but can't help but love them. Oh my gosh, look how tired I look. Clearly, um, makeup is my friend and I have not been wearing makeup for like this entire quarantine unless i film like an actual booktube video because i ain't got nowhere to go got nobody to see so i don't care but who bags your girl needs some sleep oh no i finished watching the phantom of the opera with my parents and i mean writing reviews two doesn't really count but now i am back we are starting hidden and that is the plan it is 1 49 almost 2 p.m so we're gonna see how far we can get in this book see how problematic this one is compared to the last two i think at book nine was a lot more problematic than book eight there were some very questionable things that were going on in that book eight it was like warming up to how bad number nine was gonna be so i'm very intrigued to see what a disaster book 10 can be because house of trash you know i'm on like chapter nine of this book right 
and I just don't understand this book. Okay, right now there's like red fledgings and blue fledgings. The red fledgings are like bad and then the blue fledgings are like good, but there's also red fledgings that aren't bad besides the point. Okay, so there's one of the bad red fledgings and one of the good blue fledgings are in the middle of the damn campus just getting naked in the fountain and nobody is saying anything like they're just like yep this is normal behavior just you know start having sex in the fountain with people everywhere i just what is this series okay so it's now like 8 30 at night i'm 190 pages into hunted but i need to end the vlog so that i can go edit i can have this video up for tomorrow thoughts on this one it's better than destined still not as good as awakened but i'm like a little bit over halfway so i'm hoping that it gets even better but a lot of like shit is unfolding right now a lot of like plot stuff that they introduced in book nine coming to fruition in this one so i still stand by my number nine was a filler book but i feel like this reading rush was a kind of success. I finished three out of the four challenges, but I finished four books, so I'm counting it as a win. So I'm gonna go now and edit. Bye! <laughs>